Hello and welcome to a different type of video, uh, inspired by MJ from Reading This Life, and also Katrina Brown recently did a video. I thought it would be a good idea to clean up my shelves and to properly reorganize my little cart here. So I have emptied out this cart, and I'm going to turn this into a TBR and also a organizing about things I want to give away. <laughs> so, starting off. Let's go with stuff that I just found that was already sitting on there that was stuff that I'm going to either donate to a little free library or trade in for credit at my local used bookstore. This one, I somehow managed to grab a duplicate of this. So this is the duplicate, and of the two, this is the one that was in worse shape. This is a Terminator 2 novel, and I grabbed it at my local bookstore. And since I paid for it, I'm going to trade it back in for credit. <laughs> this is everything that I'm going to be putting into my local little free library. This is stuff that I really don't think, you know, they're kind of rattier. I also got this from a little free library, uh, and I hated this book, so I'm giving this away. <laughs> Kiss Daddy Goodbye by Thomas Altman. I actually own a hardcover of this, and as you can see, so just for the fact of just cleaning things up a little bit, I will put that there. And you might be asking why things that are going to be giving away are going on the top shelf. Well, that is a very simple reason, and that's because this is where the cats will jump on. <laughs> cats will jump on and cats will get in to the top shelf all the time. Uh, case in point, I had this sitting in the top shelf and it got chewed on, so... Everything that is going to be my TBR will be on the other shelves. I, for whatever reason, I don't notice them going into either of these very much. Sometimes Loomis will jump into this, but not too often. Most of the time, they stay out of it. <laughs> and these are all stickers sent to me by my friends and some that I bought. This is a podcast logo, not anything else. Vinegar Syndrome, some donkeys, Severin, a little ha, a little get grim which is Grimm Magazine. Burp, 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 burp. Uh, I am friends with the editor-in-chief of that uh, woman-run horror magazine, so that is on there. <laughs> Some AEW stickers. No, I do not watch much wrestling, but what I have watched, uh, Brett Baker, Brett Baker, the dentist wrestler is my favorite. And then some little, little chibi-looking dudes and a frustrated Godzilla. So let's go through and figure out what we're going to do. So first off, I can put everything that's left for me to read this month and put it here. So I'm going to separate this by this is the remainder of things that I probably or might read uh, for the end of Slasher and Western Month. So I'm going to be putting that right here. And then this is what uh, the Bookubus is doing a scary sleepover weekend. And I made a TBR, a little TBR for that. So this is what I'm going to be reading for that. So Dark Forces book, Freddy Krueger book, and of course, Carnosaur. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting that in this pile. I'm also going to grab some stuff that I'm going to need to put somewhere. <laughs> Books that need to that have been sitting around off of shelves that need to be reorganized. It's just for now. I'm gonna put them there as we go through this thing. So let's begin. Starting off in my very first shelf. So I do not like these covers for Clive Barker's Books of Blood. This is volume three. I'm going to uh, I'm going to kind of put this into my trade in category and then buy a nicer version of that <laughs> so i'll take that one out uh this version of the keep is kind of ratty yeah i don't know about this version of the keep it's kind of filthy i might donate this version of the keep and get a new version Boom. Everything else in here, though, I've read, you know, Stinger. I uh, I read a few months back and absolutely loved it, so I'm going to keep that. 
And the rest of this is all alien and predator and aliens versus predator stuff. And I have a podcast all about that franchise. So I will be keeping all of this. And also, I just liked like all that. <laughs> Going down to the next shelf, Stephen King's Dance Macabre. I was clearly starting to read that, but I didn't get too far on it. Head, Saint Servants. Yeah, most of the stuff is good. Ghoul, William Scholl. So I think for Garb August, I want to actually read all of the Omen books. So these are all my Omen novelizations. So I might put these aside. Speaking of Garb August, I might want to read a James, James Herbert book, and The Fog might be a great choice for that. Other than that, though, I think this is a pretty good little area here. Um, going down to next. So Owen West's The Fun House. I hate this book, but I'm going to keep it because of novelization. Everything here looks okay. Looks pretty good, actually. Do, 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 do. Oh, what's this? Dean Kuhn's book. I'm trading that in. I do not really appreciate this author, so sorry, Dean Kuntz. Let me know if this is actually a good book, and maybe I will keep it, but I believe I spent money on this, so I will put this in to the trade-in pile. Do, 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 do. But yeah, other than that, though, there's not too much in terms of getting rid of anything from here. Ba -ba -da -ba, next shelf here. Yeah, nope, not too, too much here. I do think I should, maybe I should read The Troop next next month. I should, I'll put this one aside. I want to read The Troop. Put that up there. Do, 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 do. Jurassic Park, classic. The Sitting, The Shining Skull. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. I think this one's going to survive. Going to survive for now. Boop, 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 boop. So, for Carb August, I do want to try to read one William W. Johnstone book. I've heard this one is, like, really bad and really offensive. I'm actually kind of anticipating starting this, not finishing it, and then immediately getting rid of it. So, yeah, I spent 10 bucks on this, and I should not have. Because this one in particular is apparently a very, very gross book. But I will try that at Garb August. <sighs> and if I absolutely hate it, as I'm expecting to, I'll get rid of it. Uh, I might as well put this in as well, which is my other William W. Johnstone book. Because if um, I DNF this one, I can try this one. And if I hate them both, it's just easy to get rid of them. <laughs> I kind of read the uh, synop synopsis for one of those books, and I was like, oh, wow, I uh, should not have bought these. So it's unfortunate there. The Lake by R. Carl Largent. I want to read this one. I want to read this one in July, so I'm putting that aside. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. You guys are going to be disappointed because I'm not. it's not going to be as crazy as it's kind of appearing. Uh, so I want to read Night Warriors. I've had this on a TBR, like, off and on too many times now, so I really do need to read this one. And then Lee Clark's Carnivore. I definitely need that one. That one can either be next month or Garb August. I mean, dinosaur attack in the Arctic. I mean, come on. <laughs> Other than that, though, it seems like it is okay. Nothing. Oh, here's one that will definitely be eligible for Garb August, which is the Hotter Blood, More Tales of Erotic Horror. So definitely, definitely going to put that on that Garb August TBR. Other than that, though, nothing too, too much. I don't predict anything from here at all. Oh, wait. <clears throat> This is, somebody gave this to me as a joke. This is a shifter romance, I believe. Uh, definitely, if I'm ever going to read this book, I should read it during Garb August. 
One of those books that I don't think I will get rid of, though, because a friend gave it to me. I don't know. Do you give away... If you read a book by a friend that's like a joke book, do you get rid of it? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> Other than that, though, I don't see a lot of things that'll be particularly uh, of issue. Other than, of course, Books of Blood. Line two. Again, I hate these covers. Like, these covers are atrocious to me. I don't like them. Especially given the quality of the stories inside. So, I'm going to put that one out over there as well. Okay. Dinotopia book. Yeah, I think a few of these might make it into my TBR for the next month and for Garb August, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. So there you go. That is the very first bookshelf. Now, on to the next shelf here. This one will be mighty quick because I do not think I'm going to get rid of any of these. This is the book club edition of The Shinin. Don't, oh, sorry, The Stand, not the, not the Shining. The Shining's right beside it. And the book club version of The Shining is right here. They both start with S, and from the 70s, give me a break. <laughs> uh, the only thing I was curious about, I don't know about this copy of The Stand. So this is the uh, abridged version of The Stand, but so is that. So this is the like the cut-up version and not the full version. Um, I might trade this in just to get more space over here. So I'm going to leave that one there. <laughs> so that's a potential. Uh, do, 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 do. These are all good here. These are all hardcovers. Not going to mess with them. This one I'm not sure about, so let's see. What do we got down here? Another copy of The Stand. So that is the uncut version of The Stand. So that's a full uncut. So like I might take that one and put that one up there and get rid of the other one. Oh, what's this? A Dean Kuntz book. Must destroy all Kuntz in my collection. Sayonara, my friend and foe. Some John Saul books. I don't know about John Saul. I might have a thing where I read one John Saul book and then debate as to whether or not I like John Saul. I just own a lot of them. It's like, oh. But other than that, that is all on over here. Oh, I don't know about Mary Hidden King's Clock. Oh, yeah. Damn, that is an awesome cover. Never mind. I'm keeping that one. <laughs> Cat break. Bow, 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 bow. Cat break. Make sure to always pet or any animal near you when doing strenuous activity. It will improve your life by 25,000%. You agree? This here is my new foster cat named Medusa. Now, back to your regularly scheduled unhauling. On to the next shelf. Here's my unorganized curio collection there. Whoops. Let's go through here. Again, I do not think that is much to mess with over here. Other than, I think I'm finally going to get rid of Snowman. I didn't like this book. I know it's worth a little bit. I spent a little bit on this too. Um, this one's like one of those books from Paperback from Hell. I thought this book was pretty bad. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably trade it in for a trading credit somewhere. Or I will check it out once again. <laughs> like I have the last few times. Anyways, whoops. Other than that, though, I don't see a lot of this stuff going anywhere. Um, a lot of the stuff is stuff that I, I do quite enjoy. Going down... Next one here, all of my Star Trek movie novelizations from 1, 1 to 6, and a whole bunch of Star Trek books. I should really have a Star Trek month where I figure out if I like some of these ancillary Star Trek books, but other than that, got some Agatha Christie, some Dirty Harry Pulp. I should, okay, yeah, Dirty Harry Pulp. Should 100% go into my Garbagas pile, so I'm going to put that there. Um, 
my Halo books. Technically, all of these are pretty eligible for Garbagas, but I don't want to overload myself just yet. Joyride, which is an okay book. Don't spend too much money on this. I spent a lot of money on it, and it was not worth as much money as I spent on it, but it was still a good book. This one. I don't know about this one. This one's kind of falling apart. I'll leave it there for now. Oh, that's a cool cover, but what is this about? Yeah, I'm going to put the, these two in the meh iffies. And this one is like a non-fiction one, right? Oh, no. That's not. Oh, I thought this was a non-fiction book. Uh, it does have a step-back cover, though. Oh, hells yeah. Okay, I'm keeping that one. Maybe I'm keeping this other Cornwell book, too, because that, that book had a, a great step-back cover. Saved two books. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should add a Halo book to Garbagast. We'll see. We'll see. It's not that I, it's not like I can't change it up as we go. John Vernon, think of a number. Uh, this looks like it's probably a pretty decent thriller, but, you know, it's snow-based, so I'm going to keep that around. Kennedy's Ghosts. <laughs> like, how could you not keep that? Uh, some more Dirty Harry books, but I'm only going to put two of them on there. This really dumb book, the Golden Shield of the IBF, which is an FBI agent, gets thrown into an, another world and has to survive. Uh, I thought that was stupid and sounds funny, so I have to get that. Some of these like books, like Murder in E Minor, some of these guys are like mystery books. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep them for now. And we'll keep them for now. Some Star Wars books. I feel like I'm always kind of getting more Star Wars books now, so... That's something that I need to do. This guy, I don't think... Oh, that's some more John Saul books. I'm putting all John Saul books into the maybe pile to get rid of them. I'm going to read one, one John Saul book and then make a decision as to whether or not I just want to get rid of all of them. Uh, but other than that, I don't see too much in this pile here. Next up, starting at the bottom here. Nothing really in this one. This is all pretty pretty golden. Some golden oldies here. I mean, Harry Enda Henderson's novelization. A Westworld picture book. Come on. A Sean Hudson omnibus. I don't know. I'm keeping all these guys in there. Moving up. So this is all... These guys, I think I'm going to put this entire shelf... Uh, minus these things here, but this entire shelf is going to be reorganized into this and that. These guys are just drying still because I cleaned them off. But I have put some of my other coffee table books in here, and I think they look quite nice and they fit well. And that's probably better than keeping them up here. I don't. I don't know. I love all these coffee table books, but there's kind of there are there's there's always an issues with them. <laughs> Going up, 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 up. So, Great Television Heroes, a book by Don Glut. This book is, I was going to do a Don Glut, like, super heavy research project last year, and it never happened, but I bought this stupid book. So, I guess I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, other than that, though, his other books seem at least kind of fun, but that book seems dumb. These are all these little haunted anthology stuff. And then going right into all of my short story collections. I love short stories. I'm not going to do much to those. This one up here. These guys are all fine. These are like Stephen King stuff. So that's fine. Coming up here. Got some stuff that probably could be thrown into one of my milk crates because they are pretty big. But for the most part, these guys are good. So yeah, see, this is why I'm getting rid of Kissed Caddy Dubai because I picked up another version of it and didn't realize that I did have the 
card back there. Another Halo book. It's just bigger than the other one, so it's not with them. Whatevs. Um, but pretty, pretty okay with this one here. Maybe some of these Agatha Christie books are like a, a read them and, and get rid of them, but so far, nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing too crazy there. Oh my Jesus. I have so many stupid John Saul's books. I call them stupid. I might love John Saul. I don't know, but all John Saul books are going, going on uh, the risk of of getting rid of them. <laughs> if you like John Saul, please tell me. Are any of these stupid books good? And if they're good, they're not stupid books. So please, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> Film critics, the yeah, worst, worst movie ever made. Maybe there's some I can read in Garbagus talking about trashy movies. And then I'll decide whether I want to keep that or not. Another Halo book. Why do I own so many of these? <laughs> um, Dead Air. Planet Simpsons. Like a superhero anthology? Is that what that is? Oh no, sorry. Super villain anthology. Folklore. Going down here. Nothing, nothing crazy over here and here. I don't know. Maybe some of these like this Hollywood Canada stuff. I don't know. That might be interesting to read once, but... And, like, you know, like, Magic Moments at the Cinema. I was really uh, big into film production. I was going to be, like, a, a film, like, maker, eventually, is kind of what I wanted to be. And then I didn't do that. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that, so I might need to kind of <laughs> get rid of some of these. Like, look, this is a freaking Roger Corman... <laughs> autobiography like i don't i don't need that really i mean maybe it's good we'll see these i'm gonna definitely keep for now though two volumes of shogun i i really do want to eventually get to that but and then stuff that's definitely all stuff that would technically be in carb august specific i should try to read one of these jason x books during garb august i think what i'm gonna do for garb august is i'm gonna like make when I make the cart, it's going to all be a whole bunch of books, more than I can read, and then I'm just going to mood read, pick from them kind of thing. But, yeah, overall, it's nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy here. Oh, maybe I want to read The Hell Candidate. That seems like a dumb, silly book. That might be fun. Some Godzillas. Sherlock Holmes meets the Cenobites. Yeah, that's that's a real book. <laughs> and again, more like two more film stuff. Stephen King specifically. Bah, 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 bah. Start not the dream. The visitor. Oh, is a visit? No, no, no. Sorry, searing. <laughs> this is definitely going to Garb August. This is aliens use powers to make women have a good time. I guess that's what I'm going to say. Uh, Empire Strikes Back novelization. Gremlins 2, Butch Cassidy. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of these boys and girls. Going down here. This copy of V is kind of beat up. I might want to get a better copy of V. Should probably read that to see if I actually like it first, though. Some more Star Wars books. Maybe I should have put those over with the other ones, but I will. Oh yes, this is like there it is. I was wondering where this book went. If this is what it, this is the Battle of Waterloo, but what this is the Battle of Waterloo, but what if there were dinosaurs? I'm gonna read that next month. Okay, on to the very last batch, this last bookshelf here. This shelf here, you would think there'd be nothing, because this is my Dracula and Frankenstein shelf, for the most part. Some of these books over here are like other nonfiction books, but for the most part, you'd think, since I love all this stuff, there wouldn't be anything I'd want to get rid of. You would be right, but there is a duplicate. So, I do own two copies 
of In Search of Frankenstein, the original hardcover and this really cool paperback version. I read the paperback version uh, until I have to. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm going to keep the paperback version for now. So, yes, even though even <laughs> even though I own two of the books, I'm not getting rid of one of them. This is my VC Andrews shelf. I've not read any VC Andrews at all, but I bought a lot of like 25 for like really cheap from my local cat rescue. And uh, all of these will be eligible for Garb August. I might pick up one or two of these and read them for Garb August. But I am not going to take them out of the shelf just because I have this all perfectly organized by when they are released and in what order like the series are. These are not my numbering, so I got these with a whole bunch of numbers. But it did help when organizing all of these VC Andrews books. Tail End has some other weird little mix miscellaneous stuff, but for the most part, my VC Andrews self. I hope I like VC Andrews. I will probably try to read one of these little ones. <laughs> or maybe I should start at Flowers in the Attic. I'll probably start at Flowers in the Attic for uh, Garb August. Going down, down, down. The next one here. So we have some... And yeah, these two, I don't know. So, well, this is like uh, all about the fall of Berlin in 1945. So that would be great to read one of these months. This one is Hunting Party. I've heard, well, it's Christmassy. So anything that's like snow-based, I want to save and do some snow-based reading. So I'll keep those. John A. Keel, The Mothman Prophecies. I wonder if, I, I quite like this book. I do have like the audiobook version though. Like I did buy the audiobook for this. And that's how I finished it. But that's a pretty nice looking copy. I wonder if there's like a vintage copy I can get. So, Adam Schultz. I read both of these when I was doing my nonfiction month. But both of these were gifted by a friend for me. But the thing was, he wanted me to read them and pass them on. So these will be donated. And if I ever want to reread them, I can get them easily for ebook and other things like that. This is a Power Rangers deck of playing cards. Don't ask me why I am the way I am. I want to read Raptor Red next month, so I will pick that, put that in that little pile. Some of these are just like, you know, the sorority of Samantha. Oh, sorry. The sor yeah, soror the sorority Samantha. Like, I don't know what that is, but I have it. These are not two copies of the same book. These are two different novelizations of the movie Terminator. I do have the Terminator 2 novelization on another shelf. Maybe I should go grab that and put that in here. They Thirst. I want to read They Thirst, but I'm going to wait a little bit on that one. The Undead. Some more. Do, 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 do. Uh, erotic. The Hot Blood Erotic Horror Series. I have... Uh, four more of those i got quite the look <laughs> at the uh the used bookstore when i checked out all of those erotic horror books but whatever Let's do lone star this is the lone star book i already read i've decided to keep my lone star i'm probably going to give up my long arm just because you know i need to give some up these are some more star trek books Again, I really do need to do like a Star Trek month. This is my French point horror book. Uh, I know I only know it's point horror because the Bookubus had <laughs> the point horror book uh, when she was doing her like comparison of the UK and the US covers. So this is a French version found at a thrift store uh, at a little free library. Oh look, more of my least favorite man now, Dean Koontz. Get rid of those. But, other than that, some more dirty, hairy pulp. I should probably collect all those and put them all in, like, together. A Choose Your Own Adventure James Bond book. That's going for Garb August. I'm going to get that. Conan. 
Now, these ones, apparently, they're bad. They're b- the bad versions of the Conan stories. I found that out because I was watching Michael K. Vaughn's video about Conan, and he said that these paperback releases were not the greatest because they had the L. Sprague de Camp stories, and apparently he fiddled with a bunch of them. Uh, whoops. But this one seems like this is just... Nope, this is edited by he shall not be named as well. Oh, well, I will read these. I don't know. These are books that I've already picked out for Garbogist. <laughs> so those are going to go in the Garbogist mood pile. So we've got some random its and bits here. We actually have another Conan book, but this is by Robert Jordan. So I want to read what uh, Robert Jordan wrote about Conan. And Robert Jordan wrote the Wheel of Time series. I haven't read them, but I know they exist and are supposed to be pretty good. (laughs) Ooh, these are two 70s Han Solo books. I am going to put these in the Garbagas mood pile. Oh, yes! So these are the the sequels to Rats, Lair, and Domain. I definitely need to put Lair in the Garbagas month, because come on. Oh, Brother Kind. This is a Jane Williamson book. I was supposed to get to this during Cosmic Horror month, uh, Cosmic Horror week of Horror Mayhem, but I didn't, so I have to put this beautiful copy in my Garbagas pile. I should also grab, put Killer Crabs in there. Guy and Smith. That's gotta be trash. Oh, these are some good old boys. Uh, I have no idea about this pulp series, but I found a whole bunch of them, and I bought a whole bunch of them. You know it's a good pulp series when it has a hole because somebody shot it. So... I guess they were using the Traveler 13 Ghost Dancers for target practice. (laughs) But as you can see, I have like 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and then 13. So I'm going to throw one of those into the Garbagas mood pile, the earliest ones I have, which is number 2. The Turning, the Barbie Murders. Now, most of these are things that you would have seen already. Okay, so this is the <laughs> so this is the the long arm book I read that I really did enjoy, but there's so many long arm books I should just donate this. So I'm gonna denote donate that. The Pact. Yes, uh, these are two copies of the rats. Uh, because this is the movie tie-in cover, Deadly Eyes, and this is the normal cover for the rats. The Deadly Eyes version is kind of ratty. That was not an intentional pun, but it was a pun nonetheless. So I decided to keep both, because I might want to read them again, read it again, and I don't know which copy will fall apart first. <laughs> so I'll keep that. On Zenzis, these are all those Alfred Hitchcock stuff. And this is the bottom here. Dracula was a woman. Kong reborn. You've seen all these boys and girls and non-binary pals. Um, And here's a bunch of other Long Arm and Lone Star books that will eventually find their way. No, they're going to find their way right now into my Garbagas pile, so. Let's see how everything will look when I finish it. We have successfully done some cleaning of the shelves. So all of my new goodies, I'm turning 30 in July, so I have some space now for anything that I get with my birthday. Then I'm hoping to also grab another bookshelf. But for now, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And also... Let us now look at the mood reading cart. The top shelf is not feeling it, aka things I'm giving up 
putting into little free libraries, or trading in at my local used bookstore for some credit. Underneath this, this is the rest of June. And then also some things that I feel like I might be in the mood to read in July. Originally, I said I was going to do a theme month called Kai July, but I decided no more theme months except for Garb August for the rest of the year. So I can just read whatever suits my mood. And then, of course, because I mentioned Garb August, there's a beautiful cat here. She is not from Garb August, but she is just here. So I want to say hello from her. Thank you, Medusa. This is my Garb August mood read pile. So this is all this bunch of stuff that I am planning on checking out during Garb August, uh, if I have the time or if I feel like it. So this is both a like a mood reading thing and also just a whole bunch of garbage. So it's on the bottom shelf. So if any cats, I don't know, eat it, it's not a really a big loss. Uh, except for that Jason X book. If they ate that Jason X book, I would be very sad because that is real expensive and could probably pay for a child's tuition. So there you go. Hope you have yourself a good day. I would love to know what your cards look like. Bye-bye.